All right. Here's our call for today. Goodman CPLE 30-1 from 2003. Uh, heat pump. Call that there's no refrigerant. Been here a few times the last couple years. Uh, I feel, topped it off a refrigerant. But we ended up finding the leak. It's inside the wall because you can see all the oil spray right there. It really opened up. In fact, it was, you had 300 pounds on it. It was just, you could actually hear it. It become so large. Uh, at first it was pretty small. It was leaking pretty slow, but uh, this time it would have leaked out by the time I got home in the van. So uh, the method I used to find it was, first I shut the service valves to separate the outdoor unit from the lines and indoor unit. And when I had realized that the indoor unit was the source, the next thing I did was go up in the attic. All right, this is a couple days later. We're back at the job here. What it is, I'm removing the old suction line from the wall, and we're going to go up the wall here and run a new line up and kind of enclose it in that mini split type channel just so it looks all right. There's a little bit of that channel laying right there. Same color as the house. I went ahead and added the biflow dryer since the homeowner locked the door on me. Had to wait to get some instructions on how to get in the house. So we're going to drill a hole and put up the channel and run that new line to the uh, air handler. All right, we got our copper pulled from the outside of the house into the air handler. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the speedy channel up and run this section. Then go inside and hang it across and tie in the evaporator. Uh, I'll be putting the speedy channel. I got a wall cap to go up there. It'll run down about six and a half feet so it conceals it. And uh, I'm gonna tie in the condenser here. All right, this is the speedy channel. This is the base of it that goes against the wall. What I'll do is I'll fit the pipe up and put it in there. And then this section right here will clip onto it and uh, be a nice little covering for it. So it won't be all exposed to the elements and uh, eyesore. This is our speedy channel once it's done. Looks real good. Dresses it up real nice. Doesn't look so awful like those lines that I see running down the sides of houses with the suction insulation falling off of it. Now we're going to make this connection down here, then go up in the attic and make that connection up there. Alright, I'm soldering a little hole here that I had on the connection to the 3 8 line dryer. And I'm kind of going to document the use of this gel stuff that's supposed to absorb heat. This is called Thermotrap. And I think there's lots of different versions of this, but I'm going to kind of test it out here. And it worked pretty good. I just want to have it on camera, I guess. Uh, we're about done brazing in the air handler and the outdoor unit as long as I can fix this leak. I had the service valves closed so I was testing each individual line the other day. So now I gotta reopen them. So I reopen all those. Then put some nitrogen on the whole system to see if it holds. Give it a hearty dose of nitrogen. Put about 300 pounds on it while I go hang that 
Lines that in the attic. Alright, now we gotta hook up our nitrogen and we'll get started on that test. We already have uh, about 100 pounds on it since the condenser had some nitrogen on it from the last time I was here. So we'll hook up the nitro and get it started. Alright, putting nitrogen on the uh, new line set there, or one half of a new line set. Past 200 pounds there. They're just about one's a little ahead of the other. That's our new line set. I don't hear any leaks. I hear uh, nitrogen going in there. So we'll stop at about 250. Leave it on there for a while. See how it sets. Since one of the gauges only goes to 250. How do you like that? The wire's not shorted out, but that's a darn good way to do it, isn't it? some crack installers and I have one more to show you before we're done about how not to install your air conditioner we got a new suction line there crossing down and out right there goes into the slim duct if you look down here I don't know if you can see it you can see oh I don't know if you can see it Another good job. That is crimped for eight years. Good job, guys. All right, this stage is called pulling a vacuum. After the nitrogen test checks out, we have 250 pounds for 30 minutes. What I move on to next is the vacuum pump. And the vacuum pump takes all the moisture out of the line by lowering the pressure inside the line so it evaporates. So if you have water, uh, and you lower the atmospheric pressure enough, it'll evaporate at a lower temperature, is the method behind that. So, and that's the pump there, 5.5 cm kind of generic gym tech pump. It's been a good one for me. And you see it pull into a negative here. You see we're below zero on the uh, PSIG. All right, we're charging it up now. About a pound in there. We need to, just over six pounds and we'll start her up and see how she does. All right, we're all done here. I calculated the super heat here and it's right on the money. There's our filter dryer. Disconnecting stuff. Everything's working out good. It's already cooled down three degrees in the house in half an hour. It was pretty good when it's 95 outside. You see our, our drain there. It's really humid inside, you can tell. But I think we can call this one a victory. And on to the next one.